Element fourth is an iterative algorithm. Each iteration at a node is caused by either a local link change or an update message from a neighbor. Iterations do not sync among the nodes, and therefore they can happen at different times on different nodes on the network. So they happen asynchronously. The nature of the algorithm is distributed. Each node works separately and notifies neighbors only if there are changes. So each node waits for changes. If the change happens, it recomputes its estimates, and if the distance vector to any destination changes, it notifies the neighbors. And this process continues while there are changes in the network. Let's see the result of the iterative process on a small network consisting of only three nodes. Each of these three nodes will start with a forwarding table that only has the values for their directly connected links to the neighbors. That means, in the beginning, table at node x will only have row x, table at node y will have values on row y, and table on node z will have values for row z, and the rest of the values in each of the tables will be infinity. So, each node will update each of its neighbors. The neighbor, upon receipt of the update, will be triggered to start the recalculation. The calculation will result in other rows of the table being populated and distance vectors being updated. But at this point, since the distance vectors at each node are updated, neighbors will be notified. And based on newly notified values, distance vectors will be recalculated in each node again. There are a total of three links in this network. And each node has two directly connected links and a link they need to hear about in an update if it affects them. So after two iterations, all the nodes have heard about the cost to the rest of the network. And therefore, the distance vector values will have the final value by the end of the two updates in each node. What do you think, though? Will there be any other update after the third column of forwarding tables shown in this figure? What is the effect of changes in the cost of the links and link failures to this iterative calculation? In distance vector algorithms, good news traverses fast. For example, initially in the figure, node X reaches Y and Z through Y with costs four and five. Node Y reaches each of X and Z directly with costs 4 and 1. And node Z reaches X and Y through Y with costs 5 and 1. If the cost of the link between X and Y decreases to 1, X and Y will know about this and in the next iteration Z will hear about it and will update its cost to reach X using node Y updating its calculation from 5 to 2 and sending its new calculation to its neighbors. However, bad news traverses a slow. This might cause a problem that is called count to infinity. For example, if the same value changes from 4 to 60, note why, receiving this news and having the path costs from x and z receives the path cost from z to x as 5. It does not know that this cost is through itself using the previous link cost that it had. This is because no information other than the cost value is exchanged. Therefore, it updates its forwarding table to include that for reaching node x, it needs to go through node z. And the cost is 6, which is 1 which was the cost of link to z plus the cost of reaching x from z, which was 5. In the next iteration, z receives this update and updates its cost to x to 7 through y. In the next update, similarly, y updates it to reaching x through z with cost 8. And this continues 
until the path cost becomes more than 50, in which case the switch to choosing the direct link between Z and X happens. This is really bad, especially because the link breaks are propagated through increasing the cost. And this will cause loops in the network while the cost is not stabilized on a new value. One solution to this problem is poisoned reverse, which means that when a node path to another node is through a neighbor, the distance to that node to the neighbor is announced as infinity. For example, since Z reaches X through Y, it advertises its path cost of reaching X to neighbor Y as infinity. Will this completely solve the count infinity problem? No, it will not be able to solve it for the loops involving three or more nodes.